Okay, my people, uh, we are back again. It is no longer news that a PM yesterday made it clear that he's not going to contest in the uh, upcoming election in Finland. Uh, for some of you that are not aware that PM is a politician in Finland, uh, I believe that this video or some of the video that you have seen since yesterday will convince you that it is true. Uh, some people see it as a rumor and something that you are trying to promote him or from, you know, to what he's not. Like uh, some people who are working hard to be like PM secretly are saying they always want to look for a way to talk down on him. Some of you, uh, you are talking about PM. Uh, this is uh, why in Finland is not he's nobody. He's not putting his nobody. But but you yourself, deep down your mind, <laughs> are dreaming and praying to behalf of what he is. Now the good thing is that he, uh, he the PM is uh, is operating in a different level before joining Biafra, uh, you know Biafra uh, movement. But we, are we here to, to talk about that? No. We are here to tell you the real truth, nothing but the truth. When you see some people talking down on PM, telling you that um, he's causing problems, he's this, he's that. Somehow, if someone have gone as far as, some have gone far, you know, by making sure that um, they bring any, you know, some you know, reasonable reasons or reasonable information to back up their claim that he's a he's he's a, a nigerian agent and the same people claiming that he's nigerian agent called somebody from ambassador yesterday <laughs> that we, the way i say is this is because i just made the reaction to that video last night on our live stream so the video was not done yesterday please don't get me wrong so but uh, some of them that i will that i was in support of of a uh, and their group I'm not saying you should not support anybody you want. Like I always tell say, say you, I'm not here to commit to commit nuisance or to fight you or to create an enmity. No, I'm just trying to be as real as I can, just to make sure that everybody, the people that love truthfulness and honesty, we actually appreciate what we are saying because that is a fact. Conrad concern, you 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 can verify it. Most of them that are calling him fake, a uh, Nigerian legend, Tunubu's boy, um, he's, he collected the hundreds of million dollars. He collected the social so, thousands of naira and other nonsense. They called an Ambazonian man who happened to be DOS from the, his own camp, another DOS, um, or DOS of Ambazonia. <laughs> Those one that the guy came there without telling that he's Nigerian legend. Too. He started by telling you that um, he is. Um, that he he believe in a violence that he is a peaceful uh, his own agitation is a peaceful movement and the peaceful movement that i'm talking about is making sure that you are paying your your dues paying money for them to represent you on the ground okay and he said he had been in a Bazonian agitation for eight years and in that eight years he have not learned not to you know he have not learned to be when to be peaceful and when to put action he couldn't uh, comprehend that but he's the, after spending eight years in the agitation of ambazonia he can't even differentiate between action and dialogue that's a story for another day what i'm trying to tell you is that the people who are telling that the nigerian legend are the one that invited such man with such mentality telling you that the pm is waging war against nigeria committing crime committing this committing that that is trying to build the army that he cannot control the same person did not couldn't tell us i'm just trying to tell you this is not a reaction to that what is guy i'm just trying to refer to condition of mind to understand why people those that are attacking him are doing so and the camp they are coming from if you refuse to tell people how nigerian government are controlling nigerian army you are talking about pm having an army that he couldn't control that it, there will be a time that he will not control them blah 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 that they the word that he should learn from what happened to chayaba so when cameroonians going to ambassador house and buy them are you saying that the current president of cameroon cameroon uh, not in your own assumption or have not committed war crime or okay it is it is uh, understandable when a country couldn't when the prince of a country couldn't control his his own army when the army are con when the army are control you know committing war crime and committing you know nuisance killing people and kidnapping people it is uh, 
It's understandable, understandable because it's a country. But when you that are committing those things on trying to see what you can do for yourself to defend yourself, it becomes more crime. People need to reason. When you see people like that, distance yourself from them. Because they will pollute your, your brain cell and they will shut it down for free. And make sure you avoid that. He's not alone. He's not alone. I we because we are going to go through at least one of the one of another Okoko. We are going to go through his post before we end this uh, this broadcast. I'm trying to locate uh, the, this guy. Okay, so okay before I start properly to talk about um, this particular post we are seeing here, okay, which is which called um, Citizen Observer. We need to be, you know, we need to make it clear that we are not preaching for violence. We are not in support of any crime okay my belief is that everybody deserves to live i believe that togetherness we can move mountains i believe in um, in peaceful movement i believe in uh under you know understanding among each other that i believe that nobody have monopoly of violence i believe in that people human beings need to defend themselves then you yourself tell me what you believe on conversation. Now, this guy called Citizens Observer said this. I never knew that the OFK in chief had already built a stadium for the Omo OFK. By the time this karma is done twisting your brains, you will understand that December 2nd, 2024 is a child's play leave this fraud before he ruins your mental health now why did he say so he screenshot a post i don't know if this post is real or fake may he screenshot it um okay he said last edited which means he edited this video because I, as you can see the screenshot here last edited simply means that you edited the video that's why twitter is referring you referring it as you edited it who knows if pm made it post or not but whether pm made it or not let's discuss it now this post you are seeing on your screen at the moment is a post made by pm according to this guy and it's not verified yet because i don't trust anything that this people post he said our stadium is coming they are from ja you can start crying immediately okay okay now i see where he did it because if that he, he can see here pm cannot do this he said the dragon national stadium it will be capital city okay that that could be what pm said because it should be everywhere it's capital city of Biafra. now this guy i don't know if his problem is english although they claim that there are professors in fact so Inka and uh, Trina Chebe are learning from them. Of course, uh, Ad Adai Wai uh, uh, Ngoza Adeche is also learning from them. Why? P read this statement again. Our stadium is coming. The, the, underline the word coming. The Afonja. You can start crying immediately. But out of desperation and a way to criticize PM, thinking that everybody from uh, that part of the uh, world Biafra land are not uh, able to articulate information. Look at what he said. I never knew that the Ofeke in chief had already built a stadium for Umu Ofeke. Had already built when the, when the post says our stadium is coming. Everything, every country in this world, before they build any structure, they have to have a picture of what they want to build. I hope you understand what I'm saying. For some of you that have, have or that have come of you know come of age of uh, to know that um, building a house, you need first first thing you need to do is to draw the house. That is how plan that plan of that house. You need to you need to pay people you know architect that 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 can do it for you. That people that knows how to build houses, they will ask you as the owner of the house what, how many rooms you want. Do as they are building, they will be discussing with you. They will draw the skeleton of that house and then give it to engineer that we you know supervise the building the structure from what have been designed in the paper what you have on the paper is what they're going to present to you into reality what pm is saying here 
his skeleton of the design he loved, he felt that Biafra need to do need to have using you know, this dragon design and all that, which personally I don't like. Personally, I don't like because of it looked like it looked too fetish to me as a Christian. So, but if Biafra government said that this is what they want, who am I? I feel I will support it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's not, this is not me telling you that I'm against what position of PM. No, I'm just telling you my own opinion. I think I'm, I'm, we are allowed to say our mind, right? But they can lay hands on anything to talk down on PM. One of the reasons why they hate PM so much is the, is the, is the reason why I am actually doing this video to exp explain this to you. One of the reasons, I'm not saying that I'm going to tell you all the reasons because the reasons are too many to count. But I will pick few of that those reasons and tell and make it public to you to understand to reason in line with me because sometimes when you are fighting a fight or fighting somebody with that maybe you see that Mr. A is fighting Mr. B, you Mr. C or D may want to join Mr. A to fight D without knowing the reason why A is fighting B and the reason may be totally remarkably different from what you yourself have in mind. That is why it's always good for you to sit down. You know, calm down and last thing before you venture into it. I will tell you reasons why they are fighting. This is one of the major reasons why they are fighting PM. Why so many people from uh, structural maintenance group are not happy with the PM. One of the reasons is this. What you are seeing on screen now is what they would love to see, to be, you know, they want themselves to be in that level. A level whereby whenever they say something and news media will rush and pick it up and run with it. A level where people will be showering praises on him, you know, for doing what he's doing, the good work that he's doing to the people. What you are seeing on screen now are Nigerian news magazines, newspapers, news platforms. Most of them are connected to TV stations and radio stations. PM's name is in is is, is in, ev in the lips of everybody in Nigeria. As long as you are matured, you are old enough to know that Nigeria is a country, you cannot deny that you don't know the name Simon Eba. Nigerian News Chef said, Why I sacrifice my political career for Biafra, Simon Eba. This is a post that PM made telling Biafrans that he is not going to participate in upcoming election in Finland. Now he did not pay notice. He did not pay any of this platform to carry out the news. He is not even in good time with them. They can't even interview him. He is not in line with what I believe in, which is Nigeria. You can see the difference is like day and night. Yet they always pay attention to what he says. Why? They know what he represents. They know the multitude that are following him. They know that the love that their friends are giving showering upon him. Now, in the minds and in the midst of those people that are saying different things from what PM is saying, they don't believe at all that PM should be heard by anybody. They believe that everybody should, you know, ignore him. They believe that he's a nobody. He can't afford anything. He in fact, he's causing problem in Biafra land. They believe all those nonsense simply because the man, the good guy, the Prime Minister, Simon Ekpa, is, in, is operating in a level that they have been dreaming all their life. In fact, some of them are maintaining structure in IPOB, not because, not because they want Biafra to come, no. Not because they love Mazda Makan, no. Not because they hate the injustice that are being meted on Igbo people of Black France, no. They have actually selected themselves to be in, you know, in the helm of affairs of Biafra when Biafra comes, or if Biafra by, you know, by, by mistake or in their dream, if Maze, Sam, uh, Namorekano decided to change mind and say, okay, guys, let us make this group as a political group in Nigeria that with our might we can change in a nigerian politics we can stop all this corruption we can do and undo then they will they, they are foreseeing themselves as the you know caucus members of the potential political party in 
the name of IPOB. That is why they keep on struggling to tell you that Biafran IPOB is, is for all three Biafran. They don't want to say that. They, I'm talking about from the angle of this structural maintenance. They believe that the best way to go is you presenting yourself as a Biafran that actually in support of this political party. So that whenever, whatever that, that comes, whether Biafra or moving to Nigeria is a win-win for them. So that they, they, will, they will be in the level of PM today. They believe that when that time comes, their name will be heard. They will be in the front newspaper every day and every now and then. Whenever they say something, the, the newspaper will rush and carry it, which is what PM is operating now. Single-handedly operating on that. I mean, let, 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 me, let me explain this again. Because I want you to understand what I'm saying. If you are 15 years, you are in secondary school, and you see your classmate, maybe you are in SS2, okay? That is class level 5. If you, if you see your classmate in SS2, writing wire can write and jump and pass it without getting to SS3, which is final class in secondary school. Or maybe in SS1, you decide to write GCE, and write GCE and you pass, you write white, you pass, you write Neko, you pass, then you went for jump, you pass. You got admission without even, you see your classmate, this is what you're expecting, you expecting, you, you expect to be in that level in the next two, a couple of years to come. But this your classmate is already operating in that level that he's in university already, and he's doing well there, not that he's in university doing something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, seeing your, your colleague, you know, doing what he's doing is a problem. As you can see, here, you can see a lot of, um, you can see a lot of uh, Nigerian newspaper carrying the news. This is Daily Post. This is uh, Daily Post Nigerian, which is two different platforms. This is Nigerian News Share. News Share, I don't know um, how much about them, to be honest with you, but you can see the what i'm saying sometimes vanguard will invent, venture into his uh this thing and years back through picture through bad picture of pm like what i see here you know in in uh in fin finnish election he was he he, he he have he has won election in finland he served and people love him the video that some of you have watched on his, on his ex where he's um you know campaigning and going to town to town city to city city to city to city to know what people want from his local government from his area from the local council so my people as you can see here this is a throwback picture of prime minister of finland current prime minister of finland with pm back then this is the current prime minister pm said of finland the dimension to the liberation of Biafra has changed from today. And at the end, my target is to make sure everything that is working in Finland will also work for the Biafran people. God bless you, my, my, my good brother. You have done very, very well. The love is, is, uh, is, is, is superb. <laughs> you understand? Anyway, I don't want the video to be too long. I have to make sure that we manage the time. Very, very well so thank you my people for watching and please share and like the video tell me what you think about what you discussed so far and i expect you to do better by supporting us on our second platform okay the post i have it on my community here you can search for it kai report news okay you can search for it it is there and i will be i will repost again for people that are not good in you know going to community and see what we post there please support us there by subscribing now subscribe to, the, to, to this our platform of course and like the video we need to have our two leg up and running god bless you and please take care of yourself see you again bye bye